That's right, guys. Today, I will be surviving 100 days on Minecraft Hardcore on one lucky block. Now, everybody knows Minecraft one block, the one magical block that transforms into other blocks. But this time, it's a lucky block. And if you guys know lucky blocks, either it could be incredibly lucky or uh, really, really unlucky. Regardless, this is going to be a spicy video. And if you go on to enjoy it, make sure you guys smash that like button, hit subscribe, join the Paul GG army. And here's to 100 days of one lucky block. Now, hold up, gamers. Before we get into today's video, I got to let you know, today's video is sponsored by myself alone with G Fuel because G Fuel and I have collaborated to make a Paul GG shaker cup. If you guys didn't already know this, well now you do. You don't want to miss out. Get yourself a Paul GG shaker cup, guys. You can drink anything out of it. It's literally just a shaker cup. Protein, water, G Fuel, more G Fuel. <sighs> Regardless, use the top link down in the description. Get you guys a limited edition Paul GG Shaker while you can. You don't want to miss out. And now on to the rest of the video. All right, here we are with our one lucky block. And it looks like we got villages in the world as well. So these are going to be definitely worth exploring later on because they could definitely have some good resources. But for now, we have our one lucky block in front of us on day one of this 100 days. Please be nice to me, lucky block. Please, 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 please. Oh, it gave me a flower. What is that? Why? Why? And also one out of 10 lucky blocks broken. This is a regular lucky block and then it's going to transform into other lucky blocks. So that's how this is going to go. It's just like one block because one block goes through different phases. This one, it's it's just not a phase, mom. It's it's lucky block. Uh, oh, wait, no, I lost some. Gave me armor. That's good because I'm probably going to need it. Oh, I don't want records. Actually, this does give me a block and some peaceful music. Kidding. I want to put on the nightmare fuel. That is record 11. Okay, I can't handle that. Found the right mental space. Um, okay, here we go. Continuing on, we got ourselves a puffer fish. Nice, beautiful, lovely. Uh, another star is kind of handy. Yeah. Oh, wow, lots of obsidian, which I will take right now because that'll give us a platform. And I'm just, I'm, I'm trying to distance myself from this thing as much as possible. If you know Lucky Blocks, you know that this could, uh, this could go down south real fast. So I'm trying to stay away from it because if something like that. Okay, so I thought I was dead there, but instead he decided to. Uh, just let me burn and go down into the void slowly but surely <laughs> see you later my guy uh that just goes to show exactly kind of how this no llamas but that goes to show how this could go more blocks you love to see it obviously this is all replaceable later that's why i'm not worried about it right now and that should am i gonna die in here i don't remember what this does i'm terrified i don't it just spawned it literally gave me a structure is what it did <laughs> But that was supposed to be the last out of the, the lucky blocks, right? It was the last one, except now it gave me more. So, ah, oh gosh, this sucks. Okay, I gotta risk it. What the heck just happened? Is that slime? Okay, I just gotta keep breaking these. Oh, we got a villager. That's actually huge. The hero villager. I just need diamonds. Diamonds. No, give me a sword. Is that the hero sword? Lucky sword. I don't know if that's good or bad. Oh, a bunch of XP. We take that. We take that. And some dispensers. That's more block, right? Baby Paul. Oh. Baby Paul GG. That's, that's adorable. Ooh, also love their armor question mark oh pickaxe there we go and there should only be two more there we go now we went through all the lucky blocks in this thing and now i just need to destroy it to literally give me room to breathe and live oh wait what did the lucky block transform into into dirt oh lucky blocks broken five out of ten so this is like some sort of special stage of the lucky block now also i just now realized that my obsidian is gone literally all the obsidian that i placed is it's just gone and also it's incredibly blinding looking at the sand Still with the shaders on. Oh my what? Also, what just happened to Lucky Block? Why is it silver now? That scares me. It was a regular Lucky Block and then it turned into uh, dirt and then now it's this? I'm confusion. Oh, it's still giving me dirt. That's good, right? I think. Oh, it transformed again. Tier three copper. So like technology. Hmm. I like technology. I'm just literally placing down every block I have just to make it, you know, livable and doable to survive because if this thing spawns some craziness. <sighs> oh my gosh, that scared me. Whew, got me stunned for a second, I'll be honest. It's also about to be nighttime. Please give me a bed. What? I broke it and nothing happened. Oh, trident and a shield. That's good. Uh, show me some food. That's a villager. <laughs> Ooh, the uh, weapon one though. This guy, this guy has weapons and then this guy has armor. That's good. You guys, you guys survive over here and I'll work on getting us a bed. I swear. Chickens. This is good. This is good. Hey, give me some food. I'm sorry. It's survival of the fittest. Chickens are self-sustaining. They'll be all right. Ah, eat. All right, now we're good. We got some regen and we're ready to get back to hitting this thing. We got some chorus fruit, which I don't even want to think about eating right now. A bunch of deep slate. Hey, I'll take that because now I can make a big platform. Oh, it's cobbled deep slate also. So 
I technically can use this as cobblestone. So I will save at least a little bit of it. So if I need to make a furnace or anything like that. Uh, oh, another right chest plate. Every time I break this, it's just so nerve wracking for me. And then sometimes nothing happens. And I think it's just stuff falling through the ground. Diamond block. There it is. Give me that. Mm -hmm. That's the lucky block that I like. All right. Let's keep that up. Uh, There's no TNT below it. So uh, nice, nice, nice. I could open it. Nice. You know, this lucky block. This one ain't too bad. I kind of like the copper one. Copper one is like my friend, you know, because now I also have a chest that I can just store all of my goodies. I'm feeling good now. This is this lucky block. I don't think is going to be too, too mean to me. I'm just going to break it a handful of times. See what it gives me. Oh my. Okay. <laughs> what do I even do with this many beacons? <laughs> Hello? I lost like half the blocks. I really should start placing some more blocks around this so that I can stop losing half the items I'm getting. And yes, this is the ultimate flex. I'm able to just use these beacons as like a new floor. I also still need a crafting table. So if you want to give me some wood, uh, definitely I wouldn't mind it. You're giving me all sorts of good stuff. Oh, and I also got a shulker box now. That's good. <laughs> there we go. We got the sun rising on day two and a block that hey another villager <laughs> it's a whole party up in the sky block right now right now let's go boys. Yeah. only me all right i also realized i have an iron pick and i totally forgot to break these not that it really matters because like we have 500 of these things okay i'm not being serious we have like how many of these do we have we got we got a few now what i want is i want a bunch of blocks that i'm willing to waste you know because i'd like to make my way out to a village to then be able to hopefully get more blocks <laughs> And also get wood because wood is super important. So what I'm going to do is craft up all this clay just like so. And then actually, I just realized something very important. I don't have water. I literally have no water. How am I going to get down there? Well, I guess it's uh back to hitting the lucky block. <laughs> Hey, oh my gosh. More chimkins. Wow. Give me food. Ender dragon egg. Diamond sword. And dispenser? Dispenser. The Paul GG sword. Or the Paul GG sword would be way cooler than that. Why does it have infinity on it? <laughs> Anyways, one of these days I'll get what I want. What I really, really want. Because one day this thing will give me water. Oh God, that scared me. I just realized the block also upgraded. And we have wood. That's actually huge. Oh, not just wood. We also have saplings. That's even bigger. Because we do have dirt, which means we can actually grow some trees. And I can finally make a crafting table and craft up things for once in my life. Because for example, we got a bunch of diamonds. I can make diamond armor, make a helmet, some booties, easy upgrade, which also does mean that we'll definitely be able to have enough blocks to be able to make it to a village because I can easily just take like bones and bone meal, bone meal up a tree, live my life. The only thing is that, yeah, we still need water and the, the lucky block just doesn't want to give me that. And last, this is your time to shine. All right, no, it's just going to keep giving me random stuff. <laughs> just going to keep being a lucky block. Oh, look at that. Grass blocks. That's pretty neat. Going to have to save some of these just in case if uh, something does, doesn't go right and then we lose our, all of our land and everything blows up. I'm sure it'll probably happen eventually. Oh, it gave me a lucky block. Wow. Is this going to kill me? No, but we do have water. And now I know there's something about the well. Uh, however, well, I don't care. <laughs> there's some secret to it now. Every time I always forget about what it is. And then everyone's always like, Paul, you don't, you're not doing the well thing right. And I'm like, look, I don't care. I'll be honest. I, I just don't care anymore. So I'm just going to get rid of the well. <laughs> and act like it never existed. Oh, it gave us some iron blocks, so that's pretty cool. Oh, and then there's another lucky block under there. I don't know if I want to go near that lucky block at all. And now I finally have water, but the sun is setting, so now I don't know if I want to actually go over there right now, because then mobs are going to be spawning on the houses and stuff. That'll just make it way harder, so how about I just wait until it is daytime? There we go. Now the sun's rising on this side. All I need to do is essentially assemble all the blocks that I'm going to need to be able to get all the way over to a village. Does this stuff work again? Doesn't it just dry up, right? Yep. Then I'm able to still use it, right? I don't know why. I feel like I'll feel safer if it's just already pre-dried up. So I'm going to go ahead and place all these down and then mine them just in case. I don't know. Something about blocks changing while I'm standing on them, floating over a void. I don't like that. I don't like it. But now let's just start the amazing process of bridging all the way out into the void. And now we should be good to go to drop on the water. And maybe I missed the house. I'm really hoping to be able to find 
maybe some more saplings or a bed because we don't have a bed yet. Also, most importantly, what I'm hoping to get is a lot of resources. I could get a lot of wood from this place. I could get a lot of cobblestone from this place. And also I could get some villagers. Eh, I don't think I need more of those. We have plenty of hero villagers. Sorry guys, uh, I'm gonna be abandoning you down here. You have no chance of survival. Okay, let's see, can I get this? No, no, I can't. All right, sick, uh, moving on. Next house, which it sounds like the next house does actually have a villager in it as well. Oh, I almost just died for a second there. Hello, villager. Would you be so kind as to move off that bed because I kind of want it? Thank you. I placed down a bunch of bottom slabs now. So I should be low enough. There we go. Now we got ourselves a bed. I guess I could have just also probably just gotten some wool from around the bed. Yep, there's plenty of it. Maybe I do that too. <laughs> I got plenty of beds for me and my hero villagers. And also while I'm down here, I'm going to want to try to find some chests. Like I know this house over here does have some chests in it and those villagers following me around like a lost puppy there we go chest number one but you want to get down to that bed don't you is that what you want here you go i've had it i'll pave the path for you go to bed Ooh, and there we go we got some saplings some apples some bread that's pretty good also nighttime here we go uh, that's what i'm talking about a nice big house and the loot's not that great um anyways i uh, will be dismantling this thing thank you oh and i'll also be taking the beds those are for hero villagers only now we only got one more house left in the village to search and it's just going to be the cobblestone tower, which I'm just going to try to get as much cobblestone as possible because we only got 23 blocks so far. I don't know if the lucky block is going to be nice enough to give me a lot of cobblestone, but you kind of need cobblestone for a lot of stuff, especially in a sky block world, which there is another village not that far. Ooh, that's a blacksmith right there. Definitely going to have to hit that up at some point. But for right now, let's just tear down this entire thing, get a bunch of blocks, and finally with plenty of cobblestone later, the village your house is completely destroyed and it is finally time to head back home and now that we're on day seven what i probably should do before i forget about it is actually get some saplings because currently we have nothing as I was saying, we currently don't have any spruce saplings, which I like spruce. So let's get this over with. Let the waiting begin. Do you guys like uh, come here often or? Also got to trim down the herd a little bit. We got way too many chickens. To be honest, I'm getting a little tired of hearing them clucking around. We also should be good to go on saplings now. And now before getting back to smack in the lucky block, what I do want to do is create kind of like a safety zone, I guess is what we're going to call it. A spot in which I can kind of just not have to worry about that thing. Because the lucky block can be uh, pretty dangerous as we've already experienced. So what I want to do is kind of like wall around it so that whenever something spawns, it gets kind of stuck. But that way I can still... Can you move? That way I can still like break it from over here and I have to wear, hello? What? In the sorcery? Yeah, uh, anyways, the, the, I'm sure they're all gonna take care of themselves. Yep, there it goes. <laughs> And I also want to try to create kind of like a little, I guess, bunker, if you will, where I can also hide and run into if uh, something just spawns all of a sudden that wants to destroy me. And I know this world's looking pretty ugly right now, but I'm sure it'll get a lot better later in the video. I hope just all the blocks we got are so ugly right now. There we go. Now we should be good to go. And now it's about time we get to crack a lacking on this thing. Please don't. There we go. <laughs> it just spawned right in front of me and I already knew it was either uh death for me or death for him it's one or the other regardless we did get some diamond pants so easy upgrade I also realized I technically do have a ton of wood now and I could easily just expand the platform with a bunch of slabs all the way around this thing and then we'll have a lot more room to walk around and it'll be a much much more bearable chicken what are you doing here you're in the construction zone are you hiding is it because what I did earlier don't worry you survive there we go I've replaced a lot of the blocks with wood so that's actually matching like some of these naturally because it illuminates the floor and it also just kind of looks cool but also i've moved all my chest from right here to all the way over here into this corner where i'm also going to be moving my bed so get out because obviously i fear of just a random explosion from this thing blowing up my chest and again i don't know how i'm going to survive the explosion being like right here but regardless now we got a fully extended balcony patio floating island thing and also a bunker to escape to hopefully if something bad happens, let's get to smacking this block around, which it's already spitting out some really good stuff. So this phase seems to be really good. Oh, what is, wait, what is that? What the heck is that? Why do you, why enchanted golden apples? Oh, interesting. But the texture is like, you know, beautiful. 
uh, I think. <laughs> Regardless, we do have golden apples, which is going to be pretty clutch if we ever, you know, actually need them. Wait, actually, is it, is it trying to give me these ahead of time? Like, is it going to, is it going to goof me? Is that what's going to happen here? Am I going to get got? I don't want to get got. I'll be honest. Okay. It just gave me a coin. Is that the coin thing again? And also a bunch of milk. What do I need all this milk for? Yeah. It gave me the coin again. There's no fountain. So I will throw the coin away. Look at all that milk. Can't wait for people to be upset thinking I actually say milk like that but i don't i say milk i'm normal oh wait we just got a totem that's actually oh amazing in this world holy totem go crazy also a lucky bow which is very dangerous so i'm not gonna touch it i'll just put it in here for now put it next to my lucky sword but a totem and golden apples yeah i don't know about that one i'm, I'm getting the vibes here that um lucky block is gonna turn on me bunch of food diamond tools hold on a second is that we actually got like full diamond set too well except for a shovel where's my spoon oh there it is i'm stupid and now i'm pretty sure we're pretty much nearing the end of this lucky block phase and just a few more I'm so nervous every time i break this i get a little bit of a little bit of anxiety which there we go now it's upgraded it's changed oh whoa whoa why does that lucky block actually look kind of cool i'm not gonna lie what's up what you gonna give me a chest with oh another enchanted golden apple for a second i was like what is that we literally just had that a few seconds ago all right i think i'm gonna take a short break now that we just upgraded that lucky block and what i'm gonna do here is i'm gonna chop down a bunch of spruce and i know i just laid out these brand new floors However, it's about time that we swap it out a little bit because I'm realizing now that I'm never really going to grow. Can I grow oak trees? We did get some oak saplings, did we not? We did. I lied. We're going to grow some oak trees because <laughs> I want to make my house out of spruce naturally because I love spruce. It's my favorite wood, but I want the floors to be out of oak. Oak wood is like the most superior floor. And if you're saying no to that, you're, you're just wrong. So thank you. Let me chop down all these spruce trees real quick. And with those out of the way, now we can get on to building up uh, some oaky boys. Oh, no. I did just realize I actually need any more saplings. So, uh, <clears throat> please tree. Oh, well, thank you very much. I do appreciate that. And now normally whenever I play like Skyblock and stuff like that, usually I just start by making my entire world just a jump bunch of giant like circles and stuff like that. Because I mean, let's be honest, circles look the best. However, today is going to be a little bit different. One thing I've <laughs> kind of wanted to do now in a Skyblock world is basically make a gigantic runway. And then of course I could decorate it, put like fountains and stuff like that, little water streams, whatever it is to make it look a lot better. Uh, down the line when we have the resources to do so. However, for now, I'm going to try to just make it this really long looking platform and place down all the wood that we got. <laughs> One plank down. Many to place though. And there we go. We've pretty much extended this thing as far as we're going to be going here for now, at least, because like I said, I'd like this runway to be pretty long. And then I want to have like greenery on each side of it with some walls. And then, you know, everything will be branching off from this, you know, like a little farm island, maybe a little mob grinder, which I probably should build at some point. And again, this is also going to fill up with mobs if I don't place down a couple of torches. And then basically every like half stack of blocks or so going out, I'm going to place down a bunch of beans beacons since lucky block wanted to give me so many beacons literally right out the gate also i think it just looks kind of cool i'll be honest but now that we got the runway all set up pretty much the only thing that i do need now is essentially just like some lava so that then i could be able to make a cobblestone generator and i can actually make bigger and better platforms and not just make the entire thing out of wood like if i break this right now that's a fountain it's just a fountain is that it okay yeah no that's not that bad <laughs> so i was gonna say if i break this and then all of a sudden a blaze spawns and my entire platform lights on fire it's over however i will take the opportunity to get more water so thank you lucky block i do appreciate and also it just completely destroyed all the walls i placed down to create like a little barrier if things spawn in there i have a feeling this is gonna be a regular occurrence stuff so big sad i gotta make sure i get all of these goodies and then now i got villagers in my way so this isn't good you guys need to get up here come on get up here we're horsing around okay now there's three of you in here you're slowing down production guys get up here please how do i how do i get them up here how, what do i do villages like bread why are you guys all gravitating to the lucky block now the chickens are here whatever in the, in the meantime uh what i can do is i'm gonna set up a little station where i'm gonna have infinite water now that we do have two water buckets thankfully uh, to the fountain and i guess what i'll also do is get rid of all the sandstone from when it spawned the stupid desert temple thing because i realized i totally forgot about getting rid of this it's really ugly and then i'll just have to wait until it's nighttime to get these villages out because they're gonna want to sleep when they go to bed that's when i'm gonna fill that hole back up all right 
right, and now that it's a new day, and oh my gosh, oh my gosh. What's happening? What is happening? There's skellies everywhere. Okay, I'm just gonna let them fight it out, do their thing, and we're just gonna live life. All right, I think we're safe. <laughs> Prime example of why the lucky block is terrifying. We did get more bones, which is bone meal, which means more trees. That's good. The lucky block is always giving in some way or another. Get me out of here. 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 Me out of here. Okay. The bunker was the best investment, period. <laughs> I have milk, but it's it's far away. Uh, well, th this, these effects are going to go away anyway, so we should be fine. And I think the fish already fell off because I don't hear them flopping around anymore. But we should be in the clear. Okay, so something's telling me that this lucky block is not a good one. Oh, wait a second. Just give me a sword. A luxury sword. Sharp to smite, looting, punch, and infinity. What? I guess it is kind of better than the Paul GG sword in the sense that it just, uh, you know, has looting, I guess. Oh, hey. What the heck? You guys all right and i also just realized i might have enough blocks now to where i can actually build a beacon which if i could build a beacon that'd be pretty clutch because then i could be able to have regeneration and stuff like that and regeneration obviously super op and you always need it i'm gonna just throw this thing together there we go now it's powered up oh and it looks like we're gonna be short like half of a row all the way at the bottom however yeah we can't get regeneration big sad however i can get speed and that also makes me feel better because i'm one of the laziest people on the planet and if i could be able to run around a little bit faster i'll take it oh, except i just realized i didn't build this thing like in the center of this it, it could have looked way cooler i gotta tear it down my OCD is gonna kill me well i guess i got no other choice but to get back to hitting the lucky block what was the oh it gave me a spyglass okay whenever i don't see what it's giving me it scares me <laughs> The lucky block is just terrifying. Oh, God. Oh, oh, and then, of course, there's fish in there. Is that what that is? Yep, there's guardians. Great. Just what I wanted. <laughs> so the guardians already got blown away, so we should be fine. No, my chipkins. Okay, I'm just going to have to plug up all this water, right? Because I don't know what else I'm going to do with this. I, have, I already have an infinite water pool. I do appreciate the swimming pool lucky block, but it's got to go. I hate this because every time it, the lucky block does stuff like this, then I got to clean up all the mess. I don't like the world looking too ugly. And also, it's getting rid of my beacons, and I'm going to run out of those. So, lucky block, if you'd like to give me more beacons, I uh, will not deny them. They are scrumptious, and I will take them. Now, unfortunately, we're going to just have water sounds underneath the lucky block. What the heck is this? Lucky twister? I'm good. I don't want to twist it. I don't want to bop it. Ugh, but it looks like it has such good stats. I don't know what the twister is, but if it has lucky on it, that means it's going to do a lucky generation thing right like if i use the lucky bow it does lucky stuff fanta dude i love fanta 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 how do you say fanta you wanna fanta fanta oh my god hello Luck glow worms um you could just leave me alone please thank you i'm gonna be honest this version of the lucky block seems to be way worse than all the other ones so far this one's coca-cola strength and slowness that doesn't sound too bad and then what do we got here? Who's that? We got what? What is his name? It says Sunshine Bob. Why does Sunshine Bob look like he's gonna clap me up with all of his golden gear? Not today. No, 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 sirray. Yeah. Also, his golden gear is ridiculous. Hello, stupid Bob. Got the hands though. All for my trap. And then now we got another diamond axe or pickaxe rather, luxury pickaxe, which it's just you know stupid enchantments again. The lucky block got me mixed up today. I'll be honest. It's not giving me the greatest stuff. So I think I'm just gonna blow through this phase real quick and oh my god all right all right well it's daytime it's daytime all right yeah it's daytime we're fine all right oh wait a second this one's actually really good because it just gave me a bunch of food but is that a furnace nice furnace with more food we're pretty much set on food i feel like for the rest of the video already considering that we just keep getting more and more meat i suppose i could start cooking some of it up but we also did just get flint and steel which if i remember correctly we do already have obsidian or, or do we do do we not have obsidian apparently i lied to myself I've deceived myself. Oh, that's sad. I thought I had obsidian. I want to go to the nether. Oh my god. Nah, 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 nah. That's messed up. That's messed up. Okay. I, I know. I know I could get out of this. I know I'm chilling. <laughs> no, 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 no. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. I got to make a break for it. And then I got to use my bow. This is the only way. Or alternatively, I could do it this way. Oh my god, he poisoned me. He actually poisoned me. Wait a second, I actually have a way better idea. Enchanted golden apple. Bam. And then we give these guys the clappening. Really got a notch apple going. What am I scared of? 
sure you're gonna poison me. Wow. Oh my god, so scary. Ow! Ow, my villager! Okay, yeah, it kinda hurts. Mm. Dude, why did they throw so far? Also, I think one of my villagers died. Yeah, no, one of my villagers definitely died. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> And I may have been the uh, the person hitting him, um, but we're fine. My notch apples that are incredibly broken. They came in clutch, though. All right, now that the witch. This is what I was worried about. This is exactly what I was worried about. Okay, notch apples. Here we go. We need to save our entire world before it burns down. Here we go. No, 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 no. Okay, 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 okay. Come on. Come on. Stop. Put out the fire. 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 No, 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 no. Okay, we're fine. We're calm, cool, and collected. I believe all the fire is gone, right? All right. And this is exactly why I need a cobblestone generator. Again. Wait, I still hear stuff burning. What's burning? No, my tree. Hello? How? 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 Oh my gosh. I'm just going to chop down this tree. Bro, there's like a fire underground. Hello? Now I also need to plug up all the stupid water again. All right, and since the lucky block is getting a little bit zesty, I'm going to take a quick break from it. And what I want to do is I want to try to rescue some of this dirt because this is literally the only dirt I've gotten in this world so far. I mean, if I've gotten gravel, then I can make more dirt. I just don't think I have gravel like anywhere. That or I lost it, which is also a very likely scenario. Uh, regardless, to rescue all this dirt, my plan is to go underneath it just like so. Then I shall break a block. Move, excuse me, excuse me. Excuse me. There we go. And then now I should be able to scoop up, place a block, scoop up, place a block. And then we should be good and get every single block. Excuse me, sir. You don't want to you don't want to be in the construction zone. You don't want to fall off into the void. And now what I should do with my trees is set up pretty much like a dedicated area for them. So what I'm going to do is pretty much right at this point. I'll expand a little platform just a few blocks out and start building out a circle because I mean, yeah, again, it is sky block. You got to build circles, right? It just looks so much better in the sky. I'm already running out of wood, so I got to get to growing up a bunch more of this and let's just fill in our platform now. Oh, hello. Literally just spawned right in front of me. How How's it going? Ooh, spruce trees. Too bad we already got that. Wish you could have gotten me something else. That was good. And now with our platform all finished up, we're going to take a what little cobblestone we have and I want to create like a nice little outline for it just so we could make it aesthetically pleasing. I do plan on doing this to the entire base uh, once we actually have the resources for it. But until then, then essentially what I'll do is I'll place down like four blocks of dirt in this circle over here and this will be our oak tree farm where I'll just place down all our oak saplings. They'll grow up. We start farming oak trees in here. I could put also like one right in the middle and then essentially I want to do the exact same thing but on this side and it'll be for our spruce trees so let's just a uh, little bit of magic whoosh there we go now we got a whole other side all set up for our spruce trees now so then these will be able to grow up into mega trees and also all the dirt's above the floor so that then i don't gotta worry wait a second why is the shape like this someone's looking a little sus about our base anyways let's get back to work uh <laughs> and now that we got a little tree farm all set up i should probably get back to smacking the lucky block to see what we could get which it looks like it wants to give me a bunch of fences and that's cringe. But mostly because, like I said, I do need lava really badly if I want to make like a cobblestone generator. What is this? Am I going to die in here? No, 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 I'm good. I'm good. No, no, no. We're fine. We're, we're a-okay. Zero chance we die in this. However, we did just get obsidian, actually. I just realized that. <laughs> so let me take the water out of that. And then now I can be able to easily mine this up. Oh, it's going to take forever. Now I got to make sure that I don't lose these obsidian blocks. So uh, uh, I'll just I'll put in my important chest. But like I said, now technically... Ow, ow, ow. Fire bad. Fire bad. Fire bad. No, my villager. No. Stop it. This is, this is prime example of my nightmare by the way. Oh my gosh, it's spreading so fast. Okay, I think we're good. I think we got it all. And you know what that means. Now we just got to replace it with more wood. I literally have no other choice. Here, you know what? Actually, I think I am ready to take a nice little break from a lucky block. And what I think I'm going to do is build out another platform real quick. And now I can be able to just easily build up my nether portal, which I want it to be even. So going to waste some obsidian here. There we go. That looks just about right. Now let's light it up. Oh, and then I also forgot I should grab some food for this road. And now let's just hop on in. No way it spawns me in a wall. <laughs> 
Just when I thought taking a break from the one lucky block was going to be nice. I wanted to live a normal Minecraft life and just hop in the nether and enjoy it for once. But instead, here I am, mindlessly mining through a wall until Minecraft wants to help me out a little bit. Oh, and here we go. We finally got our first. Do I, do I break that? A little bit nerve wracking just knowing that thing's there. It's also kind of glowing. I don't know if I can trust that. Uh, <laughs> regardless, let's craft up some gold, make some gold booties. That way no one's going to be bugging me or anything. Ooh, and we're actually already above a fortress. Oh my gosh, there's another lucky block. That one has a heart, though. Is that like a deceiving thing, or...? I kind of want to open this one. I'm not going to lie. This one looks like it's going to be kind of nice. Oh my, it is. It's a good one. You know what? We take that. All right, now let's just get down to business here. Let's mine our way down into this fortress. Yeah, yeah. Let's try to find some blaze boys. I know I do have some blaze rods in the overworld that the lucky block gave me. By that, I mean spawn blazes. But we do only have six as well. So we are still running a little bit low. And then not to mention, there's also these chests. That's what I'm talking about. Give me a good, good loot here we go now that's the blaze spawner we're looking for there we go we should be good to go on blaze rods now and then i actually also can't forget one of the most important things that i'm actually here for which is lava so that then we can be able to make a cobblestone generator in the overworld so that then i can be able to start building in my world <laughs> speaking of which we should probably head back home real quick so i can empty out my inventory oh and i did just realize since we do have 14 diamonds we should yeah we could trade with some of these villagers where's the other ones i had like two more uh are you guys a wrestle right now maybe when it was nighttime while i was in the nether they got clapped up regardless though one thing i do want to buy is a hero's potion because a hero's potion is super super op i get speed i get haste i get strength i get regeneration fire resistance water breathing it's basically like a totem i think right I just got to drink it to use it. Regardless, next thing on the agenda is that I want to build another platform straight across from the portal, which actually means that I need more wood. Well, actually, now that I think about it, I don't know if I really need wood for this. Because uh, I plan on building the cobblestone generator, which it will mostly need to be out of stone. Hmm. I don't have very much of. I guess I could use amethyst. <laughs> Either way, we know the drill. Platform up. And now let's just construct this thing real quick. Oh, that sounds nice. <laughs> Which I also just realized, actually, I am going to need some hoppers, which means I'm going to take away from <clears> the <throat> beacon. Sorry, baby. Don't worry. I'm sure the lucky block will bless us soon. And so now all I need to do, though, is waterlog these stairs just like so. And then place my lava right on top. And then we have ourselves. That's not right. <laughs> Oh, uh, no, I'm an idiot. Place the water down in the wrong spot. There we go. Now we should be good to go. So then now I can just mine this and get plenty of stone. Like I said, my only fear was ever if for whatever reason this lava decides to spread onto the floor and then completely burn down the rest of the base. That's my only biggest fear. Pretty reasonable fear, I would say. And now that we got our cobblestone generator, all we need to do is mine up plenty of cobble because I got some projects that I want to work on that I'm going to need a lot of stone for. Ideally, I'll also so want it to be stone brick just so it's not ugly so that does mean that i'm gonna have to mine a lot of cobblestone And now with all of our newly acquired rocks, what I want to do is basically craft up a bunch of fern eyes. I will then, I guess, place them in a tower. Can I even reach that high? Yeah, it's fine. Because what I want to do is I want to smelt down a bunch of these bad boys so that then the base will have stone brick instead of cobblestone because cobblestone is obviously ugly, which I also realized that I am actually running a tad bit low on coal. So what I could do is easily just smelt down, I guess, a bunch of this. I don't know why I said this. I, just, I mean wood. I just burn the wood. And now with all of our stone brick, what I want to do is essentially outline the entire base. Actually, I probably won't do it right here since we're going to make the runway longer. But I do want to replace all this cobblestone also with stone brick and essentially outline the entire base just to make it, you know, less ugly. And also if the base burns down, at least I still have something to run on. And there we go. Now the base is starting to look much, much better. Like I said, I plan on extending the runway much further out in that direction where we're going to kind to build up our base in the neck portion in between our beacon things that's kind of like separating each section now with our base looking all snazzy with the stone brick next thing i want to do is essentially build up a mob grinder which everybody knows mob grinders but first things first i do need to build out the platform which now that i realized it after building up this platform uh it's it's like a perfect one block center so uh, when i build up the mob grinder it's not going to be even 
seven. And now my brain's upset. And I'll just have to put it in the corner. Kind of like that. Regardless, like I said, we all pretty much know mob grinders. We know how this goes. We know the building drill. Maybe we speed it along a little bit. And there we go. We have our big, magnificent mob grinder all set up, primed and ready for smacking. The only thing is that I forgot I actually need some more iron from the uh, from the beacon. I'm sorry, baby. I keep taking away from you. One day I'll, I'll add back on. I swear it. But I need iron so I can be able to craft up a few hoppers and so I could set up some chests with said hoppers going into them. But then I can easily just clap all the mobs, collect all the loot, live my life happily ever after and i forgot how op mob grinders are in these void worlds man these one block worlds sheesh they're going crazy but now this way i'm able to also collect ample amount of bone meal without really having to go into the nether and stuff while also getting xp and then i could take the bones and obviously grow up more trees and then i could actually start a farm now that i think about it that'd probably be uh pretty important right guys because we're running out of food i'm sorry to tell you so uh i have to eat one of you now that we got this mob grinder all set up though, I'm gonna just basically smack this thing for a little bit, juice up my XP, and get a bunch of goodies in the meantime. What I'm hoping to do is get two things. Lots of bones, maybe a potato. So that way I can, oh wait, I just saw a carrot. Carrot is pretty good. I would prefer a potato, I'll be honest. That way, so that I can be able to obviously get a lot of bone meal, grow up a lot of trees, expand the base even more, or just grow a lot of food because, you know, I got that thickness and I'm kind of hungry. Okay, update here. We got ourselves a zombie villager in here and I want to save him. I really do. It's getting kind of spicy. I'm not going to lie. Hold on. Wait, we need to go to sleep. It's about to be nighttime. Okay, first things first, I need to get him up out of there, which to be able to do so, I got to stop all the spawning. So first things first, I'm going to climb up to the top. Did I already say that? First things first. I'm the realist, all right? That's what first things first. And then I'm going to pop some holes in the top of this thing so that no more mobs can spawn. And that means no more mobs will be dropping. And now having a regular villager in the world would be really important because if I could get two of them, then I could have a bunch of villagers since the regular hero villagers don't uh, do anything. Now, I gotta do the tricky part of getting rid of every single mob in this thing without killing the zombie villager. So far, so good. He actually just went to the corner by himself, which is perfect. And then there should just be a witch left, which I gotta be very careful that I don't accidentally hit my boy. There we go. I wanna get rid of you. You're chirping in my ear. Oh wait, I've had potatoes this whole time. What the heck? I didn't even notice. Anyways, that's off topic. First, I'm gonna need a boat. And then just in case, I'm gonna build like a little roof thing. I don't think the zombie's gonna be burning just in case hey how's it going champ would you like out of there like i'm gonna let you out okay just uh make sure you get in this boat the nice scrumptious boat come on step down come on chief you can do it there we go there we go now get there it is my boy okay now <laughs> uh, what do i do here uh i gotta put him like in in a house or something let me expand the bunker oh hey we got chimkins in here villagers must put you guys in here huh? i mean the smart thing to do would be to just leave him where he's at um however you know we're not the brightest so i'm gonna build a nice little rooftop <laughs> all the way to the bunker i hope this thing's gonna be wide enough i'm sure it will be and of course he's gonna be punching me because he's upset you know i know how it is man it's okay it's okay Just chill out you're getting a little too spicy okay 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 calm down calm down come on come on hopefully i don't get trapped in here like this chicken will be come on get me out Ugh, there we go and chimkin's also in the boat with him love to see it anyway it should be safe in there now so now all I need to do is finally purify my boy, which I believe we have spider eyes already, which is, I already have a spider eye in my inventory. And we also got some sugar, which I think I need sugar. And now all I need is technically a brown mushroom, which we can easily get from the nether. I just need to find one of them bad boys. Ah, there we go. A yoink. And let's just craft that bad boy up. And then luckily we did get a brewing stand from the village before. So now we should be able to brew that up right after I smelt down some sand. And there we go. I don't know why I said it like that. There we go. Now all we need to do is just give it to our boy. Bada bing, bada boom. Should transform happily ever after. I guess in the meantime, we could just get back to smacking the mob grinder. Ah, and there we go. Oh, he's opening the doors. Hello? Uh, oh, uh, are you sure you're here? You're coming off very possessed right now and I'm not liking it. Uh, uh I'll just leave him there. He could just be a doorman. Now that we got plenty of bones from the mob 
grinder though what i want to do is basically grow and chop down a bunch of these trees so that then we could finally expand this platform a lot the runway i want it to be big i want it to have like a waterfall i want it to have my house i just still don't have a house in this world but first things first wood and then with all that wood expand the base mucho far oh yeah this thing is basically gonna double in length it's gonna be beautiful something about building sky block bases that they just look super cool just floating in the air comment down below guys what's another what's another sky block type of 100 days that you guys would want to watch from me they honestly always end up being my favorite videos <laughs> And there we go. Now we got the runway all fully extended. So this portion will essentially be where the farms and stuff are going to go. And then back here will be the base. But first things first, I do got to do the outline because I completely forgot about doing that. And I don't think I'm going to have enough stone for this. <laughs> Now that we're starting to expand on the entire base, like I said, I want to start working on a farm. We're getting a little bit low on food. I literally have none in my inventory right now. <laughs> and as we did discover, we do got some potatoes and we do have carrot. And I mean, we do got beetroot seeds, but I mean, let's be honest. Do we want to eat beetroots? No, we don't. So first things first on the agenda is that I want to hop into the nether so that then I can be able to get a bunch of gravel to then combine with my dirt to make super dirt because currently I am very limited on dirt and we have like none. Um, um, so yeah, excuse me, sir. I know I'm not wearing gold. You don't want the smoke. Trust me. Which unfortunately for me, usually gravels all the way down at like the bottom. Wow, that's so bright up there. <laughs> But usually it's at the bottom of the nether, which my portal's kind of at the top. Um, so I need to kind of make my way down. There we are. Now I can get to shoveling up some of this. And now we just got to combine all that dirt with our gravel. And I got to lay it all out and turn it all into regular dirt. And basically just repeat that process until I got plenty of dirt. Oh my gosh. While I'm sitting here shoveling all of my dirt, I also realized that the mob grinder is pretty full. But look at this. We got... Oh my gosh. Please don't blow up we got a diamond skelly that is so rare i've only ever seen a diamond skelly one other time in our old hardcore hard, hard, hardcore world i kind of want bro to come out and hang i'll be honest come on uh oh uh oh that's not good hold on wait <laughs> i didn't pick up the blocks to be able to to refill that chill out brother please stop no, he fell off. Oh my gosh. I was like going to put him in a, you know, a house. Let him live a happy life. Well, is what it is, I guess. Now that we got plenty of dirt, now it's about time that we set up our farm. Which my goal is to essentially just set it up right here, smack dab in the middle of the runway. I'm like talking super slow because I'm like poo brain. I'm like, <laughs> anyways, which actually after setting all these up, I think I just realized a way way better idea for this which is using stairs because if i use stairs then technically i could just water log the stairs like so and then the water will be touching this and then i could be able to just farm all the dirt i'm a genius except i already placed down all these so i got oh, dang it i'm not a genius uh, then i also just realized i'm out of stone mm -hmm. There we go. Now we got all the farmage set up pretty much. All I need to do is add the water to each and every single one of these. I probably should just build an infinite water pool. And also I created this like little track right here that's just going to basically fill up with grass and make it a little bit more snazzy looking. I was also thinking of actually attaching it right here and use my last two grass blocks to be able to hopefully grow up and then they'll be able to spread and make it more green up here since we don't got very many contrasting colors and it's kind of depressing. Anyways, now all I need to do is essentially fill up each and every single one of these. Now all that's left to do is till the fields and plant and spread all of our crops using bone meal. And then also I have a fortune hoe, which you guys always scream at me saying that I got to use fortune to be able to get more, which I just got 33 out of that. Do I actually get more? Hold on, let me do that. And then I got four right there. Let me do it without it. I got three with it. I got way more. Actually, yeah, no, maybe you guys are right. Sheesh, maybe, maybe I don't question you ever again. All right, comment section, relax. Come at me like that. And there we go. Now we finally got all the potatoes all set up primed and ready for cropping. Cropping? Eating? Farming? Either way, I have plenty of potatoes. I'm gonna go cook some of these up and we should have food for the rest of the video. Alrighty, and I figured it's about time we get... Oh my gosh. I was gonna say get back to working on Lucky Block. I'll be honest, that just scared the life out of me. I'm gonna mark this down as like a border so that we kind of 
know about how far a lucky block is going to be able to hit. Hey, but it gave us some iron and then water bombs. I'm not entirely certain about that one. Uh, part of me really wants to throw one of these and just kind of test it out. So let's head over to the empty space of the uh, the base. We just yaw eat one of those and then it literally just spawns water. That's kind of neat, actually. <laughs> but the real question is, does it work in the nether? Let me just give this thing a yaw eat. Oh, it does. I literally broke Minecraft. We have water in the nether. Sir, I bet you've never even seen that stuff. It smells good, don't it? Look refreshing. Anyways, I should probably save the rest of those because they could actually come in handy in the ender dragon fight if I get knocked up and stuff, you know? But as I was saying, what I want to do is essentially start smacking this lucky block again because it's been a while. We're, we've been going pretty slow at it, I would say. Let me just build in a tiny cage real quick and then I should be able to just... Okay, chicken, you're going to stand in my way. Just barely be able to reach outside of the range. Oh, wow. <laughs> It's giving me a bunch of like pearls and then there's like ender eyes and stuff. So maybe that means we're going to be close to the end or maybe it means literally nothing. Either way, let's get back to slapping this thing. Oh, that's nope. That's not good. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, yo, no, don't poison my villagers, brother. That's so toxic. Oh, I drank my hero potion on accident. I thought it was going to be a healing potion. Regardless, giving all them the hands. Mm -hmm. Well, I got a little stressful, but you know, we survive. Did my villagers survive actually? That's the most important part. It looks like they did. Oh, hey, Bob. <sighs> Lucky blocks. Mm -hmm. Okay, new phase. We just hit 50 out of 50 of the lucky blocks, but now it's upon a pyramid, unfortunately. I hate these things. I mostly hate these things because there's literally extra lucky blocks I gotta break. Although I suppose I could just leave those ones. I don't necessarily have to break them. Honestly, the only inconvenient thing about this lucky block is whenever it spawns structures like this, I always gotta plug up the hole and then I gotta clean it up because it's too ugly and I hate it. And then I've been listening to this guy. The doorman is triggering me. Oh my God. Gosh, I'm about to take your doors away. And there we go. Next lucky block, it's that pink one that we broke in the nether, which was actually a good one. Well, I mean, it was at least when we broke in the nether, but we all know how lucky blocks go and how not nice they can be. Now that we're beginning the next phase, before I get to smack in this here, you know what? I'll, I'll do one. I'll do one. What happened? What? Nothing? All right. Keep it that way. <laughs> wonder if whatever it was that just fell below, I think, maybe. Yeah, as I was saying, though, before we really get into diving into this lucky block, I want to start building up a house because all the way down there, it looks kind of empty and lonely, and I want a big old house down there to look at. But for that, I am going to need a decent bit more stone. No, I just realized I could still have haste. It's not haste, too, but I, I could have haste, and I'm stupid, and I could have I've had haste this whole time. Oh, well. And now let's just smelt all of this down. And now let's get to building up this house. Like always, I pretty much have uh, no vision for this. Uh, so bear with me on this uh, construction process. Okay, yeah, I'm kind of vibing with this for the foundation so far. Just need to add a bit of stone to it. Oh uh, yeah, there we go. Now it's coming together. Kind of just got to add a little bit more to the top and then slap a roof on this bad boy. And there we go. We finally have our house completed all the way up our nice, big, beautiful tower. Essentially, all it really is is like one room and then like a really big roof. I guess I could add another floor. Oh, I forgot to put fences in the windows. No! Regardless, though, looks beautiful. Essentially, this is going to be like the storage room. I'll just line the walls with chests. We live upstairs in the, you know, our, our studio apartment. And then I was thinking about putting some grass over here, you know, so it's not ugly because it's looking pretty bare right now. Then again, I mean, days are already flying by and uh, we still got to get through the lucky block, actually. I just needed to check that off the bucket list more than anything to say that I got a home. Well, actually, it's not a home yet. Hold on. There we go. Now it's a home. Got our bed in there. Can't wait to sleep in here in our first night. But like I said, with the house being out of the way, it's time to get started on these lucky blocks because we do got a decent bit to get through. I'm pretty sure eh, that's a lot of meat. And then we also got a jack-o'-lantern. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to build up an iron goal and he's going to be like my security guard, you know, and just to keep him in the range of the lucky block, I'm going to kind of fence it in a little bit since unfortunately I don't really have a lead. Bada bang, bada boom. So now if some mobs spawn, then they'll be stuck inside. And then also, oh wait, hey, yo, yo, another red shovel. They'll be stuck in there with an iron golem. Either way, let's get to smacking this thing. 
What? Hello? What is happening? Um, uh, what is that? What spawner is this? It's an Enderman spawner. I don't care about Enderman. My Iron Golem's dying right now. Did I hit him on accident? Don't tell me I hit you on accident, please. You're stuck. Oh, he's definitely mad at me. Look at him. He's looking at me. I think I accidentally hit him. And I can't hit the block that he's stuck inside of. Oh, you good? You good, my boy? You chilling? Yeah, you look good. This lucky block literally brought the nether to the overworld. This is quite ridiculous. Also, hello. Why'd you spawn here? Uh, give me the leads. Literally the one thing I was just talking about how I wanted. Bro, just delivered it. Oh, I gotta get rid of all of this now. Now that that's out of the way, let's get back to work. Really? Really? Oh, hey, villagers. Well, I guess it's okay if my villager down there gets clapped because uh, we literally just got a whole village. It's like this lucky block wants to literally give me everything. Like all the structures? Oh, I better not spawn another fortress on me. I'll be upsetty spaghetti. Also, it literally broke. It's like breaking all my stuff. Now, first things first, I'm going to silk touch up some of this grass so that we have a lot more grass blocks. Then all I got to do is pretty much just shovel all this away and clean it all up. And honestly, I'm just going to let these villagers roam free. I'm not worried about them. They can do whatever they want. We'll say I don't appreciate you guys just uh, moving in on my property like this. Unannounced, uninvited, and you killed my only villager that I had before you guys showed up. However, I do see that you guys brought security and uh, I'll, I'll respect that. I'll respect that for now. And finally, with all that out of the way. Wow, just just my luck. That's what I wanted. My whole base is gone, isn't it? This thing is going down. <laughs> this is probably best case scenario, right? Just put water on it. This will be the fastest solution to saving the base. All my iron golems. Oh, actually, no, we still have one. Oh, wait, what is he doing? Oh, flower. Yeah, great. Stupid me with my stupid ideas. Now I gotta mine obsidian. I guess mining obsidian is better than losing the base. And we're back at it with smacking the lucky block again. This time, it's looking a lot better so far. Ooh, an emerald block. Oh, what is that? You've earned your allowance? Nice, I'll take it. Honeycomb. Oh my god. Water? Okay. Well, I don't know what the heck just happened. But water spawned, and it saved me, I think. Oh my god. Please let me up. I tried lava trapping me, but the water was there, and it saved me. I see what happened. Good old lucky block always fooling around. Oh my god. <laughs> hmm. Oh my god. Okay. I uh, said, so yeah, yeah, you're funny. You're a funny guy, Lucky Block. You're a funny guy. <laughs> They're not even named Dinnerbone. They're named Grum. Oh my gosh, please. I can't see. Okay, we gotta trim down the herd. And the, the rest of you guys follow me. All right, let's go. We're going home. You'll all live over here with the crops, okay? Now enjoy your life. Hmm. Yeah. And imagine that. Okay, also, what the heck did the chat just say? Paul GG has full enchanted netherite armor and enchanted netherite sword and their inventory. Everyone go attack them. I literally have nothing. Also, there's a totem. I definitely want that. Maybe I can help speed this along a little bit. There we go. Nice. Perfect. <laughs> oh, oh, I see. I do have an enchanted netherite armor. It, okay. I see now. It's it's a block. That's hilarious. Hmm. Some gold. And then, okay. Yep. Another tower. Pandas. I love pandas. You guys can all stay here. All right. All the pandas. You guys get to stay. Thank you. Oh my god, my pandas! <laughs> Stupid cake, I don't even want you. Oh, there we go. They're eating. They're fine. Some knowledge, some trash, zombie sword, and lucky potions. Interesting. Sweeping edge, curse of vanishing, and zombified. I, what? Gotta give that one a test, Reno, over here. Mm-hmm. I mean, sweeping edge is working. <laughs> That's for sure. Maybe I need to test this on, like, a villager or something like that. Something that could really become zombified. I don't want to hit a villager next time and golem though then we also got the lucky potions which did nothing what's going on over there huh oh a bunch of arrows okay so it's like a lucky block effect but in potion Ooh, food I'm just gonna eat these things see how it goes mm -hmm. poisonous spider likely arts not sure what that did and then some knowledge there we go we finished another phase question mark oh and it's like glowing in red a uh, tier seven fire okay well i feel like the tiers are kind of all just lucky block at this point like you know what i mean we've kind of already seen it all this guy is buying oh no why he's selling dirt for dime i must protect you at all costs what kind of traveling merchant are you but <laughs> well, we've kind of seen pretty much all the lucky blocks at this point so i think i'm gonna just start blowing through it and and really just getting through it you know 
And so that's exactly what I did. I just beat the crap out of that lucky block and wah bam. There we go. New phase. And also I got in I got hot pockets. I love hot pockets. But if I had to take a guess as to what hot pockets do, they probably burn you because that's what they do in real life. They they burn you. Honestly, this lucky block seems great so far. Oh, and there went some chimkins and mining fatigue. Evilness smiles upon Paul GG. Everyone becomes tired. That's not good. Whatever shall I do? If only I had some milk. Also, a bottle of mysterious liquid. Mm, been there before. I think I'm a past champ. No, it's a brick wall. Why are you brick walling my iron golem? Stop it. So I got some good news and some bad news, guys. Bad news is I couldn't quite finish this phase and the sun is setting. Why the sun is setting is bad news because it's day 100. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's taken so much time to, for like me to break down all the structures and crap like that that I keep spawning. I stopped caring like once I, you know, started spawning the other stuff except when it would burn down half the base and then I'd have to repair that. But guys, regardless, comment down below if you guys want to see some more of the 100 days, one block, lucky block. Maybe we could squeeze in some more of these videos. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm a big fan of sky block, you know? We could do some more lucky block and see what the rest of this lucky block has entails. Originally, I did want to get to the end of the lucky block because I don't well, I don't really know what like the end is exactly. I'm assuming the end, maybe, I hope. Also, look at the villagers. They're all happy. They're living in my house. <laughs> And if you're happy, guys, drop a like on this video if you enjoyed it. Smash that subscribe button if you guys are new here. And that's going to be it for this video. So I will see you guys in the next one.